As an entrepreneur, you will have customers who buy products and services from your website. While checking out and making payment, they will be taken to the hosted payment page where you will need to collect their card details in order to charge them. In Zoho Billing, you will be able to configure and customize the template for your hosted payment pages. In this video, we will learn all about it. To create a template for your hosted payment page, log in to your Zoho Billing account, go to Settings and click Hosted Payment Pages under Customization. Click New Template at the top right corner. You can choose a single page template where your customers will be able to view the entire checkout process. Or you can choose if you want a multi-page template that supports features like email verification. Enter the template name and select the primary language. On to the left, you will find five sections that will allow you to edit and customize your hosted payment page. Let's look at it one by one. First, let's configure general preferences. Starting with the page properties, you can upload an image to be displayed on the browser tabs, enter the browser tab name, adjust its width, select a font, adjust the pixel and the color of section headers, input field and field radius. You can also change the background and font color of your order summary header. Under header and footer, check this box if you want to display the title band. The placeholder to display your company's name will be shown by default. Mark this box if you want to display your organization logo. Mark this box if you want to add a description beneath the title. You can also change the pixel and the color of the title and description if you wish. Click here to customize your header content of your page. You can insert placeholders and click preview to view how it will look like. Similarly, you can customize your footer content as well. Change the header and footer background color if you wish. Check this box if you permit your customers to share the payment page via social media of their choice and enter the label and message to be shared. Next to the button properties, you can change the background color of the checkout button, color of the button while you hover, label color and size and border radius. Under background, you can change its color and upload the image, select the image position, the type of image repetition from the drop down and select the scroll behavior. Next, under user verification, you can choose if you want to validate your customer's email address through an OTP during the checkout. You can gain insights on how visitors interact with the hosted payment pages using Google Analytics tracking or Metapixel tracking. Next, in the order details, you can check the box if you want to show the order summary. Rename the title if you want. You can change the field names and mark the box if you want to display the field in the checkout page. Mark the box if you want to hide zero value line items, show billing frequency and show plan and add on descriptions in the page. Under account information, you can rename the title. Mark this box if you want to enable the portal for customers automatically after they successfully make a payment. You can also change the field names. Mark the box if you want to display the field in the checkout page and choose the field type to be optional where your customers will be able to enter data if they want to. If you choose mandatory, your customers will be required to enter the data before they can proceed. If you are collecting this information from a different form and passing this to Zoho Billing hosted payment pages, you can pre-fill the fields using placeholders. If you select hidden, the fields won't be displayed but it can be pre-filled from a different page. In read-only mode, your customers will be able to view the pre-filled data but they won't be able to make any changes to it. Similarly, you can customize fields under address information and final summary.
In the payment information section, you can give a title for your payment details. Mark the boxes if you want to skip the section for trial plans, zero value plans and for customers with credits or coupons that nullify the total bill amount. You can change the field name for cards and bank accounts and mark the box if you want the fields to display on your page. You can also choose to mark it mandatory. Reorder the address fields if you wish. You can configure these fields by clicking here. Check this box if you'd like to display a CAPTCHA on the hosted payment pages. Similarly, you can customize fields for button labels. Under legal, you can change the field name for labels, enter the URL to which your customers should be redirected to when they click on terms and conditions and privacy policy. Check this box if you want to display a mandatory legal agreement and add the content below. Configuring messages and notes under error messages, enter the message that you want to display when your customer inputs invalid data or when they leave mandatory fields empty. You can customize the successful checkout message, trial plan note and future subscription start date information. Similarly, you can modify the content for the warning and success messages while updating your payment page. And finally, in the thank you page section, you will be able to modify the browser tab name, upload any GIF or images, customize the title, title font size, description, description font size, and customize your footnote as well. You can click the drop down here and customize the properties under each section. Click the drop down next to custom and choose a theme of your choice. After customizing, you can click Refresh Preview to view the changes and click Save. That's it. You have created and configured the template for your hosted payment page. Let's look at some of the other actions that can be performed in the template. On clicking the three dotted icon, you can edit the properties and layout of the template, clone it, mark it as default or even delete the template. You can also associate the template of your choice to your customers while sharing the hosted payment page manually. You can also associate the template to widgets. Say you have customers across different regions, you can customize and associate the appropriate template in their local language with the currency price list of each region. To do so, click the more icon here and select embed widget. Go to Configure Plans and click the plan for which you want to associate the template. Hover the cursor over Currencies and click Configure. Here, you will be able to associate your preferred hosted pages template. And that's a wrap to our video. Thanks for watching.